her right eye stabbed. 21-year-old Mathilda Kwateng sits outside her house in Kaneshi, wearing the scars of a tough Thursday. My sister said she, she saw the man entering the room with the knife, so she ran towards the man. When she got to the room, the man was put, uh, pointing the knife at my one, one year, ten man sister. So she was able to push the man away and pick my sister. You can see it in her eyes. A mix of pain and heartbreak from that difficult afternoon. This young woman displayed a remarkable courage when Halifax Atuque Fioklote, a male neighbor infamous as killer in the Kanishi enclave, forcibly entered her room with harmful intentions towards Mathilda's mother. So as soon as I got up, no, he was there already. And he has pointed the knife on my mom, so I don't know what to do. So I used a standing fan to hurt him. So when I hit, I fell down. And he wanted to use the knife to trick my neck. So I was dragging with him with the knife, and I used my elbow to punch him. As soon as he fell, I wanted to get that. He used the knife to trick my eye. She stood strong against the attacker, turning a quiet nap into a fierce battle. Mathilda fought to protect her mother. I was shouting for people to come and help my mom. They came to help my mom first before they take me to the Kanishin Polyclinic. And the doctor said they can't do it, so they should take me to Rich or um, Kualibu. Despite being an asthmatic patient, she pressed on undeterred by her condition. Before the incident happened, his son told me that he would kill us. I've never spoken to him before. But does your mother have any issue with the man? No. And he said um, that time he was drunk. So he didn't even know what happened, what came to him. When we all visit an eye clinic, there's this regular process that they take us through. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing with Matilda at this point. So I would want you to use your hand to cover the, your, your left eye, which is okay. So from that point, um, how many fingers can you see? Right now your fingers are shaking. Sorry. You can see three? Yes. No. This is actually two. Wow. So it means your situation is quite serious then. Mathilda's mother, Alice Ode, mentioned the move to the neighborhood just two months ago. However, this incident has instilled fear in her, not only for her own life, but also for the safety of her children. We don't have an issue with him. After the incident, some neighbors informed me that he claims we are causing him stress and he'll harm us. However, he's not even our friend or someone we engage in conversation with. The assailant subsequently taken to the Kaneshi police station was detained and later brought to court where he faced charges of causing harm. Curious about the outcome, I went to the Kaneshi police station to learn the verdict. He received a 12-month prison sentence along with a fine of 5,000 Ghana cities. But for Mathilda, the battle is far from over. One year is not enough for me. Irene Ansasari is a private legal practitioner. Usually the victim side would think that the, the, the sentence is lenient. And then on the perpetrator side, they might think that it's harsh. But it's always open uh, to parties to appeal against a decision. I'd like more to pay attention to victim support. I think that is something that uh, we can do better in our criminal justice system. The involvement of Kanishi's assemblyman, Ebenezer Edu, in the case indicates that it has stirred fear among the residents. This will also serve as a deterrent for people around us because they know that the law is now working. Across West Africa, there is a concerning rise in recorded incidents where individuals are resorting to stabbing, signaling a growing issue that demands attention. Every day, Mafolda confronts the uncertainty of whether she will regain sight in her right eye. Dependent on prescribed medications, she holds on to the hope of not just seeing again, but also resuming a normal life. Godwin Asidiba, TV3, Accra.